Hello, I'm Ethan Vesley Flad, Director of National Organizing at the Fellowship of Reconciliation USA. I want to speak to you today about making peace the new normal. I'm speaking to you from Asheville, North Carolina area in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Southern Appalachia. But two months ago, I was living in Accra, Ghana, in West Africa, as part of a year abroad with my family. We were forced to leave our time in Ghana several months early and returned to the United States because of the coronavirus pandemic and the dramatic global health emergency that had to come up for people across our earth. In the course of the last two months since we've returned to the United States, the United States has spent approximately $275 billion on military expenditures, current and past military expenses. And at the same time, Gun sales in this country have risen at least 200, if not 400 percent, over previous purchases in the weeks before the pandemic emerged, with a profound amount of guns also being sold to countries across this earth. The amount of money that are being spent on the purposes of war and violence, as opposed to those of public health and peace are profoundly wrong. A few months earlier, when I was in Ghana, on September 21st, it was the anniversary of the death of Kwame Nkrumah, the immense anti-colonial leader who helped to found the nation of Ghana in 1957. And Nkrumah, the president, had said in one of his writings, as he spoke about Pan-Africanism and human rights, the forces that unite us are intrinsic and greater than the superimposed influence that keep us apart. And Krumah reminded us that together we come to build a world of peace, justice, human rights, and resistance. And at this time, we need to again come together to make peace the new normal and to, pr to move our money and our resources and our attention and our time from the forces of violence, war, and hurt and pain to those of peace, justice, freedom, and unity. Thanks very much. Thanks for making peace the new normal.